Are you tired of this? Maybe you're fed up with this. I know that you're sick of this. Well, fear not, because in this video, we're going to go through five tips that are going to help you to survive when you're in the nether. Let's get into it. Tip number one, stop streaking. I'm assuming that you're a normal, well-adjusted human being, and so you probably wouldn't go outside without clothes on. So why are you going in the nether in the buff? Start wearing some armor, and of course, also take a shield with you. Now that we're in 1.17, iron is the new coal. It's absolutely everywhere, so there's not really an excuse for not getting yourself a decent set of armor before you go heading off into the nether. And that leads us quite nicely into tip number two, the golden rule. When the nether update dropped, it introduced piglins, and they have an insatiable love for gold. Not only does this mean we can trade with them for useful items such as pearls, fire resistance potions, and soul speed books, but they also don't really like it when you're not wearing a piece of gold. So with that in mind, it might not be a bad idea to craft yourself up either a golden helmet or a pair of boots, and that way you won't get attacked every five minutes. Tip number three, David Attenborough. Now I've no idea if Sir David Attenborough plays Minecraft, but if he did, he'd make sure that he knew all about the creatures he was gonna face while playing the game. For example, hoglins hate blue stuff, and piglins aren't really a fan either. Look at this guy, he's having a nightmare. Striders, on the other hand, love blue stuff, and you might even earn yourself a lift over the lava if you've also got a saddle. Gaths really don't like a taste of their own medicine, and arguably the most important one to remember is that zombified piglins are basically cancel culture. Sure, they'll leave you alone if you leave them alone, but the minute you step out of line, they're gonna come for you in an angry mob and you will be canceled. And the point is, you should read up a little bit on the mobs that you're gonna be facing in the nether. It's gonna help you know what to do when you encounter them. Tip number four, breaking and entering. Pretty much the only reason people come in the nether is to find the resources that can only be found there. It's a dangerous place, but the loot can make it very worthwhile. And fortresses and bastions are two of the main places that you're gonna want to find. And if anyone's wondering whether I placed this loot inside the chest for the effects of the video, nope, this is how it spawned. The thing with fortresses and bastions is they're full of mobs that aren't particularly friendly. Wither skeletons can be particularly difficult to deal with, even on easy mode, because in addition to the base damage that they deal out, they also apply the wither effect with their attacks. This slowly decreases your health over time and so it can make them quite difficult to fight. However, there are ways to make this a lot easier. Wither skeletons are actually quite tall, so by using blocks to limit the height to two blocks, you can just attack them from behind. And the wither effect can be removed by drinking milk, but this obviously requires that you've brought milk with you. When it comes to blazes, interestingly, they do take damage from snowballs. This is fairly well known, but after having tried it in the making of this video, I'd say your best bet is probably still just using a shield and hitting them with a sword. I mean, honestly, how many speedrunners have you seen using snowballs? Of course, moving on to bastions, we have the issue of piglin brutes. These guys don't give a flying monkey's bum about gold, and they hit hard. The best way to get rid of them is to dig out an area that's one block below the level they're standing on, and then you can hit them over and over again until you win the fight. And if that seems like it was a little bit unfair just remember there was ancient debris in that chest and that actually leads us quite nicely into our final tip for this video tip number five dig deep probably the biggest reason people come into the nether now is to find ancient debris so that they can make netherite armor and weapons ancient debris can be found at any level but it's most common down at y15 i usually dig one block below and go to y14 and from there you've got several options you can strip mine which is a perfectly fine method if you don't fancy blowing anything up but generally for the best results people do use explosives by now everyone has seen the beds method that nembon came up with and it is a great way to find more debris but if you are wanting to go for pure size of explosion i think end crystals might have it make sure if you're going to do this method that you do not stand too close because that explosion really really carries and of course if you've got the resource to do it just use tnt the chain reaction of the explosions will wipe out such a large area that it's pretty much guaranteed that you're going to find something and once you've got the resources you need you need to smelt that up to make a netherite ingot it requires four netherite scraps and four gold and then you just whack your diamond tools or armor into a smithing table along with the ingot and as we say here in the midlands of the uk jobs are good in. that brings us to the end of this video there is obviously a lot more that we could cover but those are my top five tips can you think of any that i missed out if so, tell me in the comment section. I'd be interested to hear what your top tips are for surviving in the nether. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch. If you did enjoy this video, please consider subscribing because these things take me a long time to make and it would really help me out. If you're one of the few people that has watched all the way to the end of this video, your challenge is to weave the word wobbly into your comment in the comment section. I'm looking forward to seeing what you all come up with. Anyway, that's all from me for today. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers!